students welcome to sunil's tutorial i'm sunil milwani and today we'll be doing this chapter called as gva right gross value added first let us see the format of gva and understand what it is gva is gross value added when a company is working what is the benefit that it is giving to the various sections of the society a gross value added tells you what is the benefit derived by the society through the business okay now for that let us first find out what is the let's first make a value added statement a value added statement in that a company the first thing that you will have is sales okay now from that you deduct the manufacturing expenses which have not been reported in the accounts simple language yeah. when you were doing 12th you had uh, adjustments yeah, yeah. what are adjustments these are those entries that have occurred after the accounts were made so you will have to record those entry so in simple language when i say that these are not reported these are your adjustment entries okay so you subtract manufacturing expenses not reported right then you subtract admin expenses which have not been reported that means when i say not reported means these are in the adjustments right then you subtract interest expenses which are not reported that means these are the three adjustments that you will get there will be only three adjustments that you will have that is one will be manufacturing expense one will be administrative expense one will be interest expense right once you subtracted all this then you add to this you will add your other income your other income is your non operating income what you get when you solve this is called as your gva question sir why are you making this i mean to say <coughs> sir this is your same as your normal vertical income statement why give it a different name and call this as gross value added right this is your simple vertical income statement reason is from this particular statement i am going to now find out what is the benefit that the society is going to derive from it right so in that case let us see why did i make this the application of gva it is not the making of gva that is important it is the application of gva that is important so whenever you have gva you have to make the gva and have application to gva now which is the section of the society that is going to be benefited the first section to be benefited is employees right now do you actually think that the accountant and ca was not able to record the entry and hence it had an adjustment no that is you know it is believed that it is done on purpose so that less amount is paid to the employees so by making a gva you would know the exact amount that the employees would be paid so whatever where the entries that were not reported get reported and that amount is then paid to the employees now one of the things that will come here the salaries that were not reported commission wages and other benefits and salaries to director salaries to director salary or commission to director these were entries that were not recorded because of making gva statement they are going to be recorded and they are going to be recorded and they are going to be uh, paid to the respective section of the society they are going to be recorded and they are going to be paid to the respective section of the society fine so that is one advantage of preparing a gva the next advantage of preparing the gva is to the government the next advantage of making the gva is to the government fine let's see this how does the government benefit right whatever is the cess to be collected whatever is the cess that is your location cess and direct taxes right all that can be easily collected all that can be easily collected right right 
so your location says and your direct taxes can be collected by the government right next the next section of the society that is going to be benefited is are the finances the finances how are they going to be benefited they are going to receive their interest on long term loans and dividend right interest on long term loan and dividend these are the payments that they will get which were not accounted for by making a gva i can make payment to all those sections of the society that were not accounted for the next benefit of making gva is for expansion for future purpose for expansion for expansion for future right for expansion for future that is how much amount should be transferred to reserve and how much should be retained for the current year and the last benefit that you are going to have is for replacement of asset If I'm going to buy an asset over a period of time, the asset is going to be worn out, so I have to again buy. invest a new asset. So for replacement of asset, for replacement of asset that is depreciation. How much is the depreciation that should be charged to the book? And how much should be transferred for asset replacement? Right. So those are the benefits of GVA. Now let's. This was the theoretical aspect of it. Let's try to see this with the help of a practical sum. Right. Let's see for sum number one. Uh, let me just make the whole sum first. Let's see the first sum. Prepare a GVA from the following profit and loss account of Strong Limited. Also show the reconciliation of GVA and the profit after tax. Now they have given you an income statement, and they have given you adjustments below. Right? They have given you an income statement. Hmm. And then they give you adjustments that production and operational expenses, administrative expenses, and interest charges. So let's start making GVA. The first thing I already have written the format. The first thing that you need to do is write the sales. Now, if you look at your income statement, you will see that your sales is your sales is six hundred and ten. Yeah. The amount is in lakhs. Lakhs. Right. So I'll write this as rupees in lakhs. Rupees in lakhs. I have six hundred and ten lakhs as my sales, right? Right. Now, once you have this, you have the sales in lakhs. The next thing that you have to do is find out the manufacturing expenses. Now, the manufacturing expenses which have not been reported, guys. Let's see this. First, let's find out the manufacturing expenses that have been reported. Look at your. Uh, income statement, guys. Production and operation expenses. That's your manufacturing expenses. So the manufacturing expenses reported. The manufacturing expenses that have been reported are four hundred and sixty-five. The manufacturing expenses which have been reported are four hundred and sixty-five. Directly we have the entire amount. Right. Right. Now let's look at the adjustment and let's see which are the ones which have not been reported. Right. Now the adjustment says that uh, you have. Sales, wages, bonus, and other benefits. Right? Wages are manufacturing expenses. Sorry, salary, wages, bonus, and other benefit. Salary, wages, bonus, and other benefits. Can we see that in the adjustment, guys? Can we see that in the adjustment? So these are those expenses which have not been reported. So that's minus forty one. Chandan raw materials. Ha, raw materials a part which has already been re reported. Oh. Right? These are they give you the split up of this this four sixty five, 
which has been recorded in the PNL. What they have shown you here is the split up of that 465. So that 465 consists of stock, raw material, consumption of stores, salary wages, cess and other manufacturing expenses. Now out of that, what all do I need for GVA I am going to remove and I am going to make a separate GVA out of it. Do you understand this? So 465 was the whole thing. The ones which are not reported in your income statement so that they can be reported as a GVA, I am removing those expenses. So one yeah. is... How do we know that raw materials and all those have been reported? They have... See, you will always have only these things which have to be subtracted. That is the reason why we will use split up. So salaries, wages, commission and salary and commission to director. So these are the only four things that have to be subtracted. Fine, do we get this thing clear? And now, CES. CES, I have come to that. Okay, okay. I am taking one yeah, entry okay. at a time. Right now I am going with manufacturing expenses. Right? Now besides that you have CES and local taxes. Right? CES and local taxes are going to be subtracted in, they by mistake put it in manufacturing expenses. They okay. shouldn't have put it there. Right? So when I subtract manufacturing expenses, then how much is it going to be? 465 minus 41 minus 11, which comes to 400, 430. Fine, do we get this in here? Next, administrative expenses. Let's see your income statement. In the income statement, administrative expenses are given to you as 90. In the income statement, administrative expenses are given to you as 90. Right? Now, let us see what other administrative expenses do we have. Right? See the second adjustment, guys. They are saying that, and, okay, you want to ask me something? Mm -hmm. Administrative, there is an adjustment given to you. The second adjustment says that administrative expenses include inter alia audit fees of 4.8 lakhs and salary and commission to directors. We have said that salary and commission to directors are a part of GVA. So therefore I am going to subtract that out so that I can have analysis of GVA. So where did you get the 190 from? Uh, which 190? It's 19 or? It's 19. This is 19. This is my bracket. 19. 19 minus 5. It's given in the income statement. Here. My administrative no. expenses. Right? Are given in the income statement and they have given you the notes also from which working note you have to remove that adjustment. Okay. If you see the next the notes you have 1, 2 and 3. So 19 minus 5 that is going to give me 14. Right? Next let's come to interest expenses. Now as per the PNL, my interest expenses are 27. As per the income statement, my interest expenses are 27. Right? Now let us see the interest entries that are given to you. Let's look at working note 3. They are saying that working capital loan and bank interest on fixed deposit and interest on debentures what have i told you that you have to take long term long loans term. so both interest on fixed loans from idbi and debentures both are long term loans therefore both these entries will be considered so i will subtract 12 i will subtract 7 but no working capital loan no therefore we will okay. these are the only entries no. yeah these are the only things that will get subtracted right so when you subtract this someone tell you how much is this 20 7 8 8. Okay. Other income. Right? Look at your income statement. Right at the top, just below sales, they have given you other income is 25. Other income is given to you as 25. Just below your sales, they have given you other income is 25. Right? So in that case, your GVA will be 200. When you add, subtract this, 610 minus 413 minus 14. Minus 8 plus 25. Someone please cross check. Huh? My answer could be wrong. 200. Right? So my GVA gross value added is yeah. 200. Now let's see the application of GVA. Right? Rupees, rupees, percentage. Right? Let's see how do we make this account. Now, what were the things that we have subtracted? See. You had 41 which was salary, wages, bonus and other benefits. So your salary and wages were together here 41. and that was 41. Right? Then you had um, salary and wages was together. Then you have, is there anything else? 
manufacturing expenses manufacturing expenses less admin expenses less interest expenses and other income will give you GVA and then you have to reconcile the two application of GVA this application of GVA application of GVA first two employees right where you have salaries and wages commission and salary and wages to director salaries and commission to director salary and Commission to director. Right? Second is to government. To government, you have local cess and direct access. The third beneficiary is the financers. Finances is interest on long term loans and dividend. Interest on long term loan and dividend. Fourth, the fourth beneficiary is for expansion. Expansion for future. For expansion for future is transfer to reserve. and retained for current year. And the last one is fifth one where you have for replacement of asset. For replacement of asset you have depreciation and transfer to asset replacement. That gives you the GVA. So the first thing that you do is get your format ready. Now we should be able to do this some fast. Right? Let's see this. Sales. Sales is given to you guys as 6,250 sales guys is given to you as 6,250 6,250 now let's see the manufacturing expenses guys now uh, you have uh, 6,240 6,240 right next let's see this manufacturing expenses now the manufacturing expenses are given to you as this total is four three two zero. Hmm. How much is it? Four three two zero. Uh, production and operation expenses are given to you as four three two zero. Minus. Let's see what all do we have here. Right, uh, you have, uh, let's see, tax and production, you have local taxes, you have salary to administrative staff. So salaries is going to get subtracted, salaries to administrative staff is 620 and that is it. Uh, no consumption to store sell. No local tax. Local taxes will come in the next one. What no? is subtracted from there? Oh uh, yeah, I'll have to subtract this from your local taxes is Eight, right? Someone please help me get that answer. Three six nine two. Three six nine two. Right? Then in uh, administrative expenses, 
administrative expenses are given to you as 180. Administrative expenses are given to you as 180. Now, uh, let's see this in administrative expenses. Administrative expenses includes salary and commission to directors 5. So you're going to have to subtract this 5. So this comes to 175. Interest expenses. Now interest expenses are given to you as 624. Right? Interest expenses. Interest on bank overdraft. Overdraft is it is of temporary nature, so you will not consider that. You have a fixed loan from ICICI, uh, that's 51. And working capital loan, excise duties amount to one tenth of the total value added by manufacturing and trading activities. Right? So, uh, one tenth of the total value added. So, we don't have excise duties here. So do you have any excise duties in the sum? No. Okay. So someone please subtract this and tell me how much is this? 573. 573. Other income. How much is the other income given to you? Don't take interest on bank order after that. No, that's a of temporary nature, no? Okay. Right? Okay. I need only no, 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 Add subtract and get me the GVA. 1855. 1855. Now, salary and wages. So I am getting 1745 and we just crossed it. Sorry, I think I have deducted 45 minutes to add it. Yeah, 1855. Right? Now, application of GVA. Salary and wages. Now salary and wages is um, we have said that six twenty, right? You don't have commission. You have uh, commission to director, which five. is five. Okay. So this comes to six twenty-five, right? Next, local cess. Local cess is eight. Direct taxes. Direct taxes from the income statement is one million five five five. Provision for tax fifty five. Right. Then you have finances. Interest on long term loans. You have only your know, fixed loan from ICICI that is fifty one. And do you have dividend? Let's look at the dividend in the income statement. One sixty. One sixty. One sixty. Dividend is one sixty. So some of these add this. Two one one. Two one one. Next transfer to reserve. Transfer to reserve is transfer uh, for asset replacement reserve. No dividend. No need. there's no transfer to reserve. Retained earnings. Now retained earnings in the current year is six hundred. Total is six hundred. Five forty. Five forty. Balance of 600 last year minus 60. 60. 600 minus 60 because balance of last year also. Ah, 600 is total of current year yeah. and out of it 60 is of last year. So that is going to be 540. Right? Depreciation. 60. Depreciation yeah. is given to you as 16. 400. And asset replacement fund is given to you as 400. That's 416. Can someone please help me add that? Can someone please help me add this? One eight five five. One eight five five. Someone please help me get the percentages. Right. 625 divided by 1855 into 100. 33.69. 33.69. Next, 63 divided by 1855. 3.4. 3.4. 11.37. 11.37. Next, 540 divided by 1855. 9.11. 
Finishes that sum. We'll stop this here for the day. Thank you very much.